Hi, everybody. Of course, uh, after all the talks we had this morning about refugees and uh, all this situation, what I'm going to say sounds a bit, uh, a bit strange, but at the end, it is exactly what I would like to tell you today now, is about the time. And the time is clicking a lot. And even if uh, we are in many countries, different countries, with different kind of business, I mean, architecture or graphic design or all the people who are interested about what design can do, is a general way. We, all of us, we have the same problem. And the same problem is time is clicking too fast, by far. And you know, one of the subjects of my presentation is to say uh, we have the digital world and we have the print world, but I don't want to talk about print. I want to talk about time. And I want to talk, as my predecessor, about human, about people. And I would like you to Imagine yourself today or a few years ago in this situation. How many times? Of course, having the latest news on your smartphone is just perfect. Nobody is, uh, nobody is against that. That's perfect. You want to have the news, select your tweet, check your news account, and you have it. That's perfect. The main problem is when we are in a restaurant with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend. You are spending a minimum of 50 euros to have a nice lunch. And what you do is checking your smartphone and your Facebook account during two hours. That's a problem. And I guess all of you, you have seen many, many times people checking their smartphone in front of us in a restaurant. And that is a bit too much. I am not here to make a judgment. I'm, making, I'm here to tell you what we observe in our paper industry, traveling all over the world, meeting a lot of designers everywhere, what we see. And what we see is that always the time, the time, the time, the time. And for those who are in the business, in a very active business today, we are close to summer in Europe. And you know that all your customers are asking you things to be delivered by September. Uh, that's nice, but when I take my holidays, I cannot. So the time is very much a problem. And it is so much a problem that sometimes you have this kind of incredible situation in this uh, metro station in, uh, in, in China. But that is not the main point. The main point is to say, all of you, Whatever is your job, whatever is your age, whatever is your sex is, what do you say to the people you like, even more to the people you love, that you love them? It's, it's very important. Everything we have heard this morning is about true story. It's about sincerity. It's about real life, real life. We don't have the problem that we have seen in Africa this morning. We don't have it. We have everything we want. Absolutely everything we want. First, we have peace. What do we do with that? Are we rushing everywhere? No. Let's take the time to say to the people that they are important, that you love them. And I would like to take a few examples. I'm not talking only about your sister or your brother. I'm not talking about your girlfriend or your boyfriend. I'm not talking about your mother or your father, I'm talking about your customer, about your supplier. Who is taking the time to say to the supplier, Mr. Supplier, without you, my business doesn't work. Without you, Mr. Customer, my business doesn't work too. And we have to pay attention to that. What we observe time after time, year after year, is simple things are back. After 15 years of Fantastic internet, digital communication, everything we have seen for the last 15 years, people are back to basics. Just shop a cucumber. Prepare a food, a dinner, which is easy for everybody, but nice and tasty. And if you do that, just a side, just an egg sunny side up, let's make it on a nice plate 
let's put it on a nice plate with just a few mushrooms, pretty good. Just have a good glass of wine. France, maybe? <laughs> what? And, of course, in a nice glass, because I can tell you something, whatever the wine is coming from, in a real glass, it's much better. Much better. And this feature is made by Hermès. And Hermès, they made this little decoration on the glass just to make it unique, to make it perfect, to make it tasty, to make it nice, to enjoy it, to have fun, to make that time a special time. To make that time I drink that glass something which is unique. That's great. I like this. What about sharing? How many people are sharing pictures on Facebook? Okay, all of you. How many people like to be liked? All of you. We, all of us, we have our ego. We like to be liked. But the point is, when we share something, do we spend the time to really share that goose during five hours in a family dinner and to have good time with all the people that I like and I love? That is the challenge we have today when we are facing our clock every 10 minutes or we are checking our smartphone every five minutes. So, what I observe also, readings, traveling, talking, sharing, managing, is people like simple things again, as I said. Like having holidays just on a little island, just two of us, do nothing, no Wi-Fi, fully disconnected. I saw a restaurant uh, a few days ago. They said uh, there is no Wi-Fi in that restaurant. Just imagine we are in 1995. <laughs> it was just 20 years ago. We were still alive. And there is another thing which is very interesting, which is back, is the vinyl. The vinyl is back. You know that we are producing more vinyl than CD today. It's crazy. And I'm not talking about only uh, albums from David Bowie or the Rolling Stones or the big band. Uh, Beyoncé, she is launching a new album on a vinyl. So new artists are using vinyl. Why? Because of the quality of the sound? Maybe. Maybe because uh, there is something in a vinyl who can create a little bit of curiosity uh, there is one, which is obvious, is the cover. To choose a cover, to select the cover, to take it, to watch it, to, to take that one because you like the design and you don't know the band, but you like the design, and then you say, if this design has been done on that cover, maybe the band is good, because these guys are sensitive to what I like. So if they like what I like in design, maybe he does music I like. Who knows? So it's a way to share. And then, it's time again. When you are in front of a vinyl, you cannot swap from one track to another one, as we do always with our smartphone. Uh, how many years, sincerely, how many years, all of you, you haven't listened a full album from track one to track 10? I mean, nobody. You do. You are the best. You do also. Ah, there is some good people there. No, but this is the point, is we go for one track, we like it, we switch, we go for another one. The vinyl helps you to slow down, to go in a sofa, to sit down during 20 minutes, to listen your music, to enjoy it, and just having the pleasure to discover what this artist would like to record on that vinyl for your pleasure. That is absolutely perfect. In Thailand, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, sorry, uh, I met a designer, and uh, the audience there uh, asked him a very good question. He said, as a designer, what do you do to give interest and um, curiosity to your, to your customer? And he said, what I have to do is just to steal their time. And then I was thinking, if they have to steal the time and we are running after time every day, there is something strong or wrong. I think it's strong, because I steal your time now for 10 minutes, 
and I can continue to steal your time with a black screen. You will hate me. By the way, it's good to be hate when you are successful in the job you love. So I suggest all of you to be hated. Another point is we know about this tactility that every encounter with an object is a rest of time. Uh, when you see the program of what design can do uh, this morning, it's not something like usual. It's a bit tactile. And I would like to show you something. I was in London a few weeks ago visiting uh, the Rolling Stone exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery. Huge exhibition. Uh, maybe if some of you uh, have been there. If not, go there. The exhibition is until September. Then it, they move to, uh, I think it's the US, and then they are back in Europe in 2018, so not soon. I'm telling you this because this is a notebook made by uh, Smithson, a very famous British company. And this notebook has been made specially for the Rolling Stones. Here, the title you have here is Rock Off. Here, you have the famous logo of the Rolling Stones, and it is just a notepad. My point is to say that Mick Jagger himself, he made the decision to say, for my exhibition in London, I'm going to make a customized, special notepad for my visitors. So even the most beautiful singer or the most beautiful rock band on this planet today is sensitive to details, of course, and to paper in particular. What I would like to say is the end is everywhere. When we say hello, we shake the hand. When we say hello or goodbye, we do that. The end is everywhere. In our business, we are using our end to produce the paper, to control the paper, to make some nice watermark. And then at the end, we have some of you, most of you, graphic designer. And what they like to do is just to touch it, to feel it, to enjoy it in this book of paper. Another one is to say that seeing things is something very interesting. A year ago, we were in Amsterdam uh, running an exhibition called the Pop-Up Exhibition, something a little bit like that one. This picture was in Paris when we did it uh, in January. And I was amazed to see how many hundreds of people were so happy to touch things, to touch the paper, to touch the design, to touch something which is so nice. It's part of my property. And there is a lot of young people in this audience tonight. And I would like to share with you these uh, figures and numbers uh, we have received from the people who attend the exhibition we did a few months ago. They said about paper, fine paper. Fine paper is nice paper. They said emotion. Papers bring emotion immediately. And it's not a big little rate, huh? 73? 73%. And then prestige, personalization, pleasure. And what some people a little bit older than the average like me, we believe that paper is tradition. It's not, of course, only 4%. It's modern. So we are talking about the future. We are talking about modernity. We are talking about being innovative and make a change in our lifestyle today. And the way we communicate is a very nice way to prove to your people that what you do is for them. Whatever it's an invitation, whatever it's a book, whatever it's a handwriting letters. <laughs> Nikki, are you here? Sorry. I, I, I would like to send you a letter when I saw you three months ago, Nikki but I didn't put the letter on the mailbox. <laughs> so it's nice to take time to write to someone, but at the end, you have to put it in the mailbox. <laughs> so I'm showing you this because as a professional of the paper industry and as a very sensitive person, as all of you, because all of you, you are extremely sensitive, I like to say, as everybody, the point is you know it because you are making a job that you recognize you accept you are a sensitive person. And all the sensitive person, they, they like these kind of things. It is exactly what they would like to do, is to prove their sensitivity to the 
not the pleasure, but to give to someone uh, something which is easy and nice. And a Brazilian uh, designer, Deborah Clavin, she said, people think this is just about what you see, and then they underestimate the power of what they feel. We know, all of us, we are extremely sensitive to feelings. So time is a question of attitude. Uh, this guy is uh, watching that huge clock on the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. I guess that what, what he's uh, looking through is the Sacré Coeur uh, on the top of this uh, picture. So it's very much a question of, of attitudes. And that's as I would like to say with you today. But before uh, I stop, uh, I would like to tell you something. We had that fantastic band <laughs> this morning giving us uh, a little show between different talks. Do you think they can play alone? They can't. Like the who, they cannot. So it's only all together. And there is something I would like to spend a bit of time on that. By definition, we are in a business to business, or we are in a business to consumer. Whatever the business you are, there is only one new business now. It's about the human to human. The human to human is how, in your company, you are paying attention to human. And this is everywhere. I would like to give you uh, two examples. The first one is about uh, Starbucks. Well, Starbucks is a B2C business, it's a huge worldwide business. Have you noticed that the name or their customer by their first name? All of them. You want a coffee? You are Richard van der Laken. They are calling you, Richard, your coffee is ready. I guess that, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if in Dutch you are using the vu and the tu, do you? All right. I guess that Starbucks would probably said tu instead of vu. Another example, Squarespace. Do you know the website Squarespace? It's an amazing platform to produce extremely well-designed uh, websites. Squarespace, they have an hotline, extremely cool, very efficient, based in the US. Whatever the time you call, you are in Europe, there is always someone to answer you. And immediately, they are saying, they are calling you with your first name, making connection, make it human. So, let's make it human, and let's continue that. Thank you so much, and see you later. Thank you so much, uh, Christophe. I, I'll take you a little bit here, because they are going to, to change, <laughs> to build something. Um, I, I have a completely different question uh, for you. Oh my God. But Arjun Wiggins is a partner of What Design Can Do, so I thought, why do you think What Design Can Do is so important? Well, uh, What Design Can Do is important as uh, some other institution to take the time to talk to people about what there is today. Mm -hmm. That is the main point. I mean, we, we, we need to spend some time to mix different culture, to mix different people, to understand different uh, point of views, that is the richness of what we, what we do today. Yes. And, and for us to be with what design can do and with all of you today, guys, is very much to be part of this community of just sharing a few thoughts for two days. Yes. Is there also a, a connection with the human to human thing? Yes. You were, yeah. I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, well, one more or less question about pre presentation. Uh, you were obviously very positive about, about the future and about the, the return of old values. And um, don't you think that this is only uh, the, the, the case in the, the very niche market, like luxury brands and stuff like that? Okay. Have you seen, have you seen one of the picture you have seen on that screen talking about Louis Vuitton, Dior or Hermes? No. no? It was just little names. So, no. Definitely it is for the luxury brands, because these people are sensitive to everything which is details and quality, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, it's for everybody. Okay. And we have proved that many times. Yes, definitely. I'm happy to hear that. Thank right. you very That's much. Perfect. Christophe Valerès, thank, thank you. Thank you.